Hello, friends. Today we find ourselves in a wooden house. The house belongs to my family, and I live here with my wife and a couple of kids. And today, we'll run an interesting test here. Right now, we're in the kitchen. As you might have noticed, it's decorated with wood. This kitchen is a little uncommon due to the absence of tiling on this wall. We were building the house in country style and wanted to keep the same lining all over the place, just like on these walls, the ceiling, and so on. This lining suits the kitchen very well, so it would be a pity to replace it with tiles. But this brings up a certain problem. We need to make sure that this beautiful lining will not be damaged by the stains of juices, grease, water vapor, and other destructive effects that you can find in any common kitchen. So today, we will protect it with Ceramic Pro Strong. Ceramic Pro Strong is a nano-ceramic coating that can be applied to any surface in a very thin layer. Strong is applicable to various construction materials such as wood, laminated tape, laminate on the MDF plate, metal, and tiles as well. Just not the ones on the floor since it would make them too slippery. In general, this solution is used to prolong the lifetime of any surface, save its appearance, and keep the color deep and vivid. The coating provides an optical depth of colors and protects from dirt, grease, juices, spots, various oils, and spices for a very long time. Speaking of spices, for example, if you drop some turmeric on your tabletop, it'll leave a yellow spot that will be very difficult to get rid of in the future. Today, we'll protect this wall and the bottom parts of these shelves. These places are most vulnerable. They're constantly being affected by steam that's produced during cooking. The moisture keeps accumulating in this wood and MDF, and in time, it will start to swell, flake, and lose its appearance. So we'll use Ceramic Pro Strong in order to create an invisible hydrophobic coating that will repel water from these surfaces. In order to apply Ceramic Pro Strong, we'll use this spray gun. Its nozzle is 0.8 millimeters in diameter, which is quite large, but I've consulted with Ceramic Pro on this subject and was told that it's suitable. Naturally, you can use spray guns with adjustable nozzles to use the product more frugally, but this simple one will do just fine as well. The spray gun's container can hold up to 800 milliliters of liquid, but we don't need that much of strong for this job. 100 milliliters will be enough, if not too much. So I'd recommend you pour in around 50 milliliters. It sprays very fast, so we'll have to work in quick, firm motions. Before applying the coating, we need to protect the surfaces that will not be treated with our solution. To do so, we'll cover them with special plastic cover that can be found in any store selling paints and varnishes. Since our spray gun has a wide spraying area, we'll use it to cover the major part of the wall surface. Later, we'll use a brush to treat any hard-to-reach places. So about an hour after finishing the job, we're removing the plastic cover. The kitchen looks just like before the treatment, but Ceramic Pro Strong needs 24 hours in order to soak in and reach its complete firmness promised by the manufacturer. And now I would like to show you how this coating acts on this wall after a day. Now 24 hours have passed since we applied Ceramic Pro Strong on the wooden wall behind the tabletop, the sink, and the stove, and the time for test has come. For the first test, we'll sprinkle the wall with water and take a look whether any wet spots will be left on the wood treated with Ceramic Pro Strong. As you can see, the water is gathering into drops. They're not getting absorbed and just hang on the wall. This is the first sign of hydrophobic effect in action. What is hydrophobic effect? It's an effect of water repelling. In other words, the water does not spread and soak into the wood, but rather gather into drops and flow down the surface if possible. Our wall is not ideally polished, so the drops can catch a hold on it. Nevertheless, they're not soaking into the wood and therefore do not leave any spots. You can simply remove these drops with a common napkin. See, not a spot. You just carefully wipe this moisture off the wood. Naturally, if the surface was ideally polished, the drops would simply flow down. Take a look, it all gets absorbed by the rag. Not a single drop of water has been soaked into the wood. Now let's move forward to a more challenging test, a test with cherry juice. So here we have the same wall and the same bottle just filled with cherry juice instead of water this time. Well, let's see if we're risking anything. As you can see, the same hydrophobic effect is in action. The cherry is more noticeable on the wood. We can see the juice forming drops. And now we'll try to wipe them off with a napkin. Will it work? Yes, it's working with no effort at all. 
The cherry is not soaking into the wood and doesn't leave any trace, even on these roughly worked bevels, twigs, or any other spots where it would normally be able to get absorbed easily. We only need to wipe it off with a napkin, just like here. And as you can see, no trace is left here as well, and the wall remains perfectly white, natural, and beautiful as it was from the beginning. You will see the same effect with greasy liquids, such as broth or other liquids of that sort. Well, dear friends, just 24 hours after coating the surfaces with Ceramic Pro Strong, we've already tested it with water and cherry juice. And now I'd like to tell you about the advantages of this coating in comparison to traditional varnishes that could be used to treat these surfaces as well. There are two types of varnishes, solvent-based varnishes and water-based varnishes. So in general, solvent-based varnish is good. It's sturdy, it can be polyurethane, it can be alkyd, etc. Yet it has two significant flaws. The first flaw is the fact that aside a few exceptions, the varnish can't stand high temperatures. In most cases, it can't be applied on surfaces located near the sources of heat. Why? It's because the varnish along with wood will be exposed to expansion and contraction, which will cause it to crack and so on. Another significant flaw that is common to solvent-based varnishes is that they have a yellowish shade. Water-based varnishes do not have this semi-transparent shade, but are seriously affected by liquids. In other words, liquid will leave white spots on the walls, floors, tabletops made of natural wood and coated with water-based varnishes. These spots will disappear in time as the liquids evaporate. But if you have a big family or you cook on a constant basis, these spots will appear all the time. Some will dry up, but others will appear. And in this way, they will constantly replace each other. Ceramic Pro Strong, on the other hand, is not susceptible to these flaws. This product has an entirely different basis. Unlike most varnishes, it's based on inorganic compounds rather than petroleum. This product is resistant to high temperatures, moisture exposure, it resists grease, and can be applied to numerous types of surfaces. That's why if you want to create an interior in country or province style that uses a lot of natural wood, I strongly recommend you try out this product. See you in the following videos. Keep an eye out for updates, subscribe to our channel, like us if you find this video interesting or useful. Also, leave your questions in the comments. We'll gladly answer those. In the next video, we'll show you how to protect textile surfaces.